A recession's coming, my friends. A recession is coming. Look out. Get your Paul Revere. Tell everybody a recession is coming. Why do I say that? Because recessions always come. They come and go as part of the system, the business cycle. So I'm going to share with you. I did this video the other day about personal consumption, how it changes. It's not a linear trajectory to the northeast going from here to up there, 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 there. It goes up each and every year with inflation. This is the same, same chart from the St. Louis Fed. Federal Reserve Board of St. Louis Economic Research. And I just want to show you something. All right, so this goes back to 1947. So we got 1947, we'll just say 1950 to uh, 2015 or so. So that's uh, 65 years, all right? So we got 65 years of research from the, uh, the Fed in St. Louis. And what do we see? We see recessions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 recessions out of 65 years. I take my trusty calculator and we divide 11 by 65. Recession, oops, 11 by 65, that's 17%. So we take one divide by 17, happens every 5.8 years, right there. So a recession happens every 5.8 years. <laughs> Jeez. So this idea of ah, recession, I'm watching these guys, and some of these guys, it's just negative Nellies all the time. I, I'm not even going to say some of the names. So I just, every time I see these guys' YouTube channel, I'm like, dude, what, what is it with the negative stuff all the time? I mean, I just, I don't get it. Look, I, I don't want to be overly optimistic here, but we have unemployment at 4% for heaven's sakes. I just, I don't understand the negative Nellies. It's weird to me. Yes, we have lots to consider. We have debt. I get all that. Uh, we got student loans to the roof. I, I, people are very nimble. They adjust accordingly. And when people are looking at recession uh, as, as if it's going to bankrupt them, I mean, I say, did it bankrupt you here? Did it bankrupt you there? Did it bankrupt you there? Did it bankrupt you? And the answer is sometimes it did in 2008. Probably did bankrupt some of you guys, but the vast majority of us were not bankrupt. And that was horrific in 2008. Horrific. Do you think it's going to be worse going forward? I, look, I don't know. I highly suspect it won't be. But do you think it will? Well, in that case, what are you doing to protect yourself? If the answer is you're just buying guns and bullets, or was it, no, uh, bullets and bread, or butter and bread, or butter and bullets, or something like that, all right, well, that's that's fine. But what happens if you're wrong? And that's the whole point about, uh, again, I go back to the barbell approach, paying off uh, debt. The, the approach says, look, I might be right, I might be wrong, but I'm going to have a hedge on both sides because if I'm right that a recession is happening, and I'm telling you it's going to, uh, it will be nice to have some cash, it's nice to have some supplies, whatever those supplies are, nice to have no debt. But if I'm wrong, it's still going to be nice to have money in the stock market, uh, I mean, whatever, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> whatever it is, maybe start my own business, something like that. Uh, but it'll be good to hedge on both sides. And it's just, I mean, look at this. We have recessions all the time. People say, oh, uh, the, the Fed's gotten better because of fiscal policy, uh, monetary policy, fiscal Congress, monetary is uh, Fed. Well, I got to get out of this, in this out of the shade there. Well, has it? I mean, we, all right, so here, you know, we had a, a, a an antiquated Federal Reserve Board here. We had, you know, recessions every four years back then. Well, still, since 1990 today, that's what, 30 years, we still had three. And this is a huge one right there from 2000 to 2000, eh, about end of 2006 to begin of 2009. A gigantic one. In fact, that's the biggest one we've had uh, even since, yeah, it's worse than 73, 74, worse than 82. So while the Fed might be more, have more th theoretical ability to uh, refrain us from going into recessions more often, seems to me when they do, it happens more forceful. So you can't get around the business cycle. The Fed can't get around the business cycle. You can't get around the business cycle. The only way you get around the business cycle is by having no business cycle, which is socialism. And socialism, again, everyone's equal in poverty. All right, so that's uh, that's what's happening here. I got to turn off these notifications. It drives me crazy. Got this new MacBook. I'm not sure. Well, this is a Mac Air, and I've been, but I don't know. Anyway, so I just want to point that out. Recessions happen all the time, my friends. I mean, what do you... To sit there and just gloom and doom and say, oh, I wasn't one guy talking about. I forgot. I Some guy was, guy from Canada. I forgot what he was talking about. I was like, man, come on, buddy. Just, jeez <laughs> Louise.
Ah, I don't get it. But either way, just don't worry about it. Do what you got to do and stay focused. I mean, just stay focused. Pay down debt. Squirrel some money away. Have some cash. Have some stocks. Uh, don't take on big expenditure projects. If you think in the next you know, 12 to 18 months, things are going to go from, you know, from good to bad. Just don't do it. So, all right, we'll see you next time. Thanks.